Good morning, folks. We've got a bunch of eye candy to go through here today. We're looking at the sun, some meteorological impacts of the space weather that capped off last week, an eclipse map for the upcoming event in April, and the brightest known object in the universe. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find it was mostly quiet. Departing limb on the right, a minor eruption went off the north away from the Earth, and otherwise it was a relatively quiet day both on our star and geomagnetically. Those big incoming sunspots continue to creep onto the Earth-facing half of the sun. We can now see the entire grouping, but can't yet really diagnose the magnetic character. This continuum view showing far ultraviolet shows only minor crackling around the lead penumbra. We'll be able to diagnose the magnetism tomorrow morning, but thus far, it's been like a sleeping giant drifting into view. Hopefully that continues. Let's go next to the weather, where a tropical storm is formed off the coast of Brazil. While low pressure cells form there often, they almost never get this strong. It is a true anomaly in the weather and almost nobody has heard about it. It just so happens that it formed at the exact same time an X-class solar flare erupted on Friday. Fun that our video on the sun and tropical systems came out the very next day, and at the time, we didn't even know about the South Atlantic storm. It's worth noting that it formed in the South Atlantic anomaly, the weakest part of Earth's magnetic field. On Saturday, Another anomaly occurred when 265 mile per hour winds were clocked in the jet stream above Washington, D.C. Those jets are also easily worked by space weather activity. Folks, NASA has released this map of totality for the upcoming April 8th eclipse. Partial eclipses will be visible across a very wide region outside of this line, but if you're hoping to see the full breadth of the eclipse, it's going to be here in this path. We have about five and a half weeks until the event, so if you're able to plan to get out and see it, you'll be happy you did. Just make sure you bring the right kind of safe viewing glasses or something like that. It will present dangerous light amplification conditions for the naked eye. Last but not least, quasars, the superactive galactic nuclei, torus disks, and jets. They are the most luminous things in the cosmos, and there's a newly discovered one that just broke the record and now sits on top of the brightness list. It's 12 billion light years away, and its light emitting disk is said to be seven light years across, which is enormous, nearly twice the distance from the sun to the nearest star. Record breaker here. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.